there are some new products out and about at the moment okay, that are pretty interesting. So yeah. let's have a look at some of these that we've got. Yeah, so we're introducing uh, uh, you know brand new line of audio products. Uh, so this one is a 100E, IP-Link 100E. So IP-Link is a family of codecs that we first introduced in 2012 and then we've been adding models to it. So our latest models for the IP-Link that we introduced is IP-Link 100E. So this is a card that plugs into our FM exciters and it provides it, provides it the capability of audio or IP. Very powerful uh, uh, software capable uh, processing element on here. Supports 10 band of uh, built-in audio processing uh, in, in, into, the, into the card. So it has three network interfaces. One of the things that we actually focus uh, you know, on is, is reliability of uh, transporting audio over public internet. So all of our products have three network interfaces that you can use for streaming. Uh, you know, this one has a, a AES3 analog, uh, AES3 digital audio in and out, RS232, and a GPIO, right? So IP-Link 100C is another model that we're introducing. Essentially has the same, same hardware in there, the same software, uh, except that instead of just AES3 uh, input and output, it has the XLR input and output, and it has a choice of either analog or digital that you can select, right? But again, just like all other products, you, we have multiple network ports. We have WAN1, WAN2 management. All three can be used for streaming or management. There is no, there is no difference. USB for playing out audio uh, in case you lose all your network connectivity. Uh, then we have the serial data, GPIO data. We can also do, we can also take in a uh, GPS uh, module in here you know, for single frequency FM uh, network. So we, we have patented technology uh, that allows us to completely synchronize FM main transmitter and booster. Uh, so that there is no interference in the overlap region. Yeah. So our patents uh, you know, provide that capability and is protected by that. So Syncrocast is the name of the technology that's in here, as well as it's in here. And then uh, we have a software-based product. So all of these are single channel, single channel in and out, single channel in and out. Ascent is a software-based scalable platform. Uh, it can go anywhere from eight channels to 32 channels either with AES-3 analog or pure IP using AES-67, which is uh, audio or IP. So these are the new platform that we have introduced this year. Previous products that you know, we have been selling for the last few years is the ip 200. So this is, again, uh, same capabilities, different form factor. Instead of one channel, it has two full duplex channels. Uh, and then we have Interplex IP link MPXP, which is a FM composite codec, in and out, right? On the radio side, the first product on, on, on the chassis, on the, on, on the rack here is uh, Flexiva FM XI. So this is for US, it's a US product for HD radio. It provides importer, exporter, you know, functionality. Uh, then we have our line of low power uh, uh, fax products, right, from uh, one kilowatt uh, up to, up to uh, you know, 300, 300 watts. And the, you saw the IP Link 100 cards. They actually go fit into this into into this uh, uh, into these products. Uh, so this one uh, this one is even a lower power. I believe this is a, a Fax 50. So if we go from 50 watts, you know, 300 watts, 600 watts, one kilowatt, three and a half kilowatt with the low power line. Then obviously we have high power high power radio transmitters all the way up to 10 kilowatt uh, liquid cool uh, faxes. So. That's that's in uh, yeah, that's a summary of what we have uh, here. Uh, but we obviously have a uh, kiosk that uh, shows all the entire product lines uh, from high power to low power, air cooled and liquid cooled. So just very quickly, because it, we, we, it's normally a. Uh, just very quickly because we concentrate on radio, but you've got some incredible stuff for television yeah, at the so, moment. Yeah, so this is a, this is on television products here. Well, not this one. I'll talk about this one a little bit later. So this is a pole mount television uh, transmitter. It's is completely self-contained unit. So it has the exciter as well as it has up to 80 watts of uh, PA in it. Uh, has a satellite uh, card to pull in the input. So it's completely self-contained. Goes on a pole. Uh, you know, for smaller, smaller, uh, you know, coverage areas, you know, uh, rural. This is a multi-channel product. So this is a multi-channel product. It has, uh, so this model has, uh, particular model has six slots 
each slot has again an exciter and a 80 watt PA built into it. Oh, for, sorry, 40 watt PA built into it. It's designed for installation where you have multiple channels of TV transmission from a site and you don't have a lot of space, right? So you can see that up to eight uh, different slots or uh, six different slots on this one. We have another product that has up to eight. This is slightly bigger than this. So uh, we are. We are you know, we are uh, having good success with this in, um, in a lot of the uh, developing countries, you know, where, uh, where the multiple channels have to be transmitted from a single, uh, single site that has, does not have a lot of space in it. So it provides a lot of uh, cost-effective solution for, for CapEx. And finally, this, this little one here, a time and frequency reference generator, very interesting. Yeah, so this, this is a common product that you can use for a, in a TV broadcast facility, radio broadcast facility, telecom facility. Essentially what this is, that is a very highly redundant, highly reliable uh, uh, 10 megahertz, 1 PPS uh, reference generator that uses GPS signal. Uh, you know, to uh, to generate uh, the 10 megahertz, 1 PPS to up to 12 different uh, devices, right? So if you have a facility with a lot of equipment that needs GPS timing reference, instead of having GPS receiver for each one of them, you have to need just one of that, bring in the uh, redundant GPS signal, and it provides up to 12 different uh, uh, references for, for those uh, uh, for those equipment. So uh, the application for this is beyond broadcast. It's, it's also for telecom, public safety, anything that requires GPS timing references. Okay, thanks for that great tour around. All right, thank you.